Hello, welcome back. Today I would like to show you my top 10 side idea tweaks that compatible with iOS 13 to 13.3. For all of these tweaks, they are compatible with Checkrend and Uncover as well. And even on the new iPhone, which is um, the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 Pro. Now let's go to the first tweaks. And if you take a look at the bottom of my iPhone, and the tweaks allow you to customize the dock on your phone. Now let's go to settings. And as you can see, I just enable the tweaks. And you can customize the background color and you can customize the border color as well. And you can, you have the slider to adjust the dark ratio. And let's customize the board, the border color. Let's go to, um, let's go to red. And then you can change the dark color as well. So I'm gonna go to white. After you configure all of those options, to take effect, you need to respring. You can see at the bottom, the dock has been changed. Bottom toolbar is finally updated for iOS 13.3. And now you can swipe from the left after install the tweak. And you can see the um, connectivity button. You can um, access to Wi-Fi, airplane mode, Bluetooth, and cellular data, and even personal hotspot as well. And below that, you can see the music player. And then you have um, the button for uh, brightness and dark mode as well. And we can adjust brightness from here. And now to go back, click on this button. And we have the flashlight and power, low power mode as well. And at the bottom, you have the reason app that, in, that are running in multitasking. You can quickly access to all of those apps. So let's go to Twitter. I just click on it, it will bring me to Twitter. For instance, when you go to um, any apps, it does work on the app that you are currently in as well. Just swipe from the left and it will bring up the app and you can access to all of this. To customize bottom toolbar, you can go back to settings. And you have two choices to choose the style. You have the, um, the small one, just to this one it will bring you the small view and then you can customize the bottom toolbar view you can change the background on bottom toolbar on advanced you can customize some module you can edit toggle button as well you can um, enable or hide all of those and then you can spring click on the spring again now let's go to bottom toolbar again by swipe on the left and you can see we have the small view after we change, just swipe to the left to go to other button. Custom player allow you to customize the color on music player on your iPhone lock screen. And I can swipe down to notification center. And you can see on my music player, we have gradient color with the border around it. You can customize it in settings, go back to setting and then go to customize player. And here we go, you can select the gradient color. We have the first gradient and the second gradient color. Can select um, the color that you like. And on the top, we have the solid color as well for Spotify. Move on to the next one. The tweaks allow you to customize volume on your phone. As you can see on my volume style, it is much smaller. And whenever you use the plus or minor button, it gives you a vibration. So you can select the sensitivity as well. You have the vibration strengthness. You can go to heavy, small or light. At the bottom, you can customize the color for your volume as well. Let's go to, let's go to this one. And then I can just bring, and here we go. We have got a new color here. Lock widgets allow you to stick the widget into your iPhone lock screen. As you can see on the top here, we have the battery widgets. To add more widgets or to adjust any widget, you can go to settings and then go to lock widgets. And you can select the widget that you want to show on the lock screen. And here we go, we have a ton of them. You can click on this button to move your widgets. Now we have got another widget. Move on to these tiny tweaks. It allows you to hide some element from your home screen. You can hide label, you can hide label folder, or you can hide the dark background. Just enable all of them, and then you can respring. 
Now all of those elements are high, so we have no label and we have no dark background. And even on the folder, we have no label as well. Color board, it is a trick that allows you to have the keyboard color adapted to any app. So for example, when you go to the App Store, and I'll go to search, and on the keyboard, I have the blue color. But when I go to the other app, it will adapt to, to that app too. So for example, I want to go to message, and then I can click on the keyboard. And we have the green keyboard here. Let's go to Safari. And when I click on the keyboard, we have the new color here. Move on to the next one. This is the trick that allows you to play the music while you are screen recording your phone. And here we go. As you can see on my music player, the, the music is going on right now. So when I screen record my phone, the music is still playing. So it doesn't interfere music player. And now my phone is recording. And when you go to control center, you can see the music is still playing. Um, this is the trick for the password on your iPhone lock screen. It will add a piano key to your phone. And now when I go to my phone, as you can see, we have the piano key instead of the password button. So you just um, select the key that you have set before and then it will unlock your phone. I think this is the trick that most people are gonna get it. It is a trick that allows you to play the video anywhere on your phone. So it is called um, picture in picture mode. You can go to Safari and then go to the video player. For example, I want to play this video on my home screen. I just click to view the full. And on the top, you have picture in picture mode. We have, we have this button. Click on it. It will bring to the small one. And now you can go back to your home screen. And your music is still playing or your video is still playing as you can see.